What must you do to be saved? That's the question we're going to talk about today. But first, let's pray. Uh, God, thank you so much that you've done everything that we need to in order to be saved. Uh, there's nothing that we have to do, and yet you call us to believe. So help us to believe. Help us to rejoice in what you've done for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, let's dig into God's word. Our readings today are from Genesis 15 and Romans chapter 4. After these events, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield. Your reward will be very great. But Abram said, Lord God, what can you give me since I am childless and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus? Abram continued, Look, you have given me no offspring, so a slave born in my house will be my heir. Now the word of the Lord came to him, This one will not be your heir. Instead, one who comes from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look at the sky and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, Your offspring will be that numerous. Abram believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Now it was credited to him was not written for Abraham alone, but also for us. It will be credited to us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. Notice how in the book of Genesis, when it says that Abraham believed God, it was only after Abraham spent a lot of time doubting God. <laughs> uh, Abraham was only able to believe God because God gave him the faith to believe. Even Abraham's faith was a gift from God. This is a very simple concept that's at the heart of Christianity. And it's simply this. Salvation is not by works, but by grace through faith. God credits righteousness to us when we simply believe in Jesus. And Ephesians chapter 2 makes it clear that even faith is a gift from God. So we have nothing to boast about. We're not saved by works, but by grace through faith, which itself is a gift. <laughs> So we can't boast in our faith. We can't boast in our works. We can't boast in our faith. We can't boast in our salvation. God gives it all as a gift. So we owe our salvation completely to God, who gives it to us as a gift. And because it's a gift, we can simply rejoice in it. Rejoice that God saves you by grace. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.